Hey, it's time to rate the manufacturers. What have they done in the past 10 years, roughly? What have they done good? What have they done bad? Let's uh, see where some of these lens companies are going because I've been screwing with their stuff for ages. More so than anybody else on YouTube has any experience with. So let's see what's going on. First off, let's state something that's true. Um, but it's not true for companies because companies only care about money. Money, 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 money. We all know this is the case. Um, lens companies are making a big mistake in making what people want. Oh, why is that? If they want it and they make it, you know, they're going to worry about the money. Yeah, that's true. You make what people want and, and uh, you get the money. Here's another way you can make money. You could be logical and honest and tell people what they really should get and what they need because the customer is not always right. When you've got like some old Japanese dudes that have been making men lenses for 50 years, these dudes know more than the, than the idiot with a camera, okay? Well, I want a 100 millimeter to 10,000 millimeter. No, 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 no. Uh, lenses like that are no good. Yeah, but I want it. If you made it, I'd buy it. Oh, no, no, no. That's a bad lens, you know. I get to see a fight between some photographic asshole and some, like, 50-year-old lens designer. You know, one of them doesn't know shit, and the other one knows everything about lenses. Then you got the guy that's running the company behind the gen lapidated Japanese lens manu uh, guy that's been making them for 50 years, designing them, knows what's best, and he's like, well, if the customer really wants it, we should make it. And the guy's going, oh, that's not good. I'm not making fun of the Japanese. I'm actually... Praising them. Um, the customer's not always right. Now, Nikon, for example. You know? Now, Nikon still makes some old AIS lenses. The 50mm f1.2, 55mm macro. Nikon still makes some awesome lenses. They still make them the old-fashioned way. 105mm f2 DC Nikkor, sublime. Perfection. Nikon still has some D-series autofocus and some AIS manual focus lenses. And uh, those lenses are still made because there are people out there, like me, that have brains enough to know what the hell a good lens is from a crap lens. As opposed to, like, uh, idiots on YouTube that are, like, always talking about Sigma, which is crap! <sighs> Recommending Sigma lenses. I mean, you got to be kidding me, right? Um, so let's take a look at Nikon. Where have they done in the past 10 or 15 years? Well, they've gone from uh, an A to what I would now rate as a C. They're making crap to please people rather than sticking to hardcore traditional lenses. They still do make traditional hardcore lenses. Not a ton. Um, there are some of their new primes, like the 20mm 1.8G, exquisite lens. Just the tits. Uh, it's got a lot of plastic on it. Yeah, yeah, but you're not hammering nails with it, are you? Don't particularly like the fact, but it is lightweight. You know, what should you rather have? A heavy, heavy-ass lens, you know, that's metal. Or the same optics at 20 mm 1.8 G instead of a plastic uh, assembly. It's cheaper to make. It's easier to make. Yeah, it doesn't weigh as much. Yeah, and you're not going to hammer nails with it. So I even I can see Nikon's position on that. So I should probably not be so harsh on them, but they do rate a C. Um, they are making some real boner crap lenses recently. Their new 20 24 to 70 lens. To try to improve on the old 2470, it's worse optically. What they do, what they're doing is they're making new new lenses to fit full frame sensors with DX crop sensors, which is the new wave. Um, it's got vibration reduction. That's all well and fine, but the lens is worse than the old one. It's meant to replace. When you make something to replace something that's older, it damn well should be better, but it's not. It's worse. So Nikon gets a C. Voigtlander, they get an A+. They're doing everything right. They're making the old-fashioned way. They're telling people what it is they should be shooting, which is how it should be. You know, <clears throat> the customer is very far from always right. Often they're wrong. See, the guys that actually make lenses, they'd like to make a profit too, but they, they should be telling you what it is you should be shooting. You know, you shouldn't be telling them what to make. They should be telling you what you should be buying. And uh, you know, it's just a fact. You got the business people, and then you got the hardcores behind the scenes that are actually making the stuff. And uh, the people that uh, are up at the corporate level at Nikon and other places, they listen to the customers. And that's well and fine. And the bottom line is ultimately important. But they should still be telling the customers what the hell it is they should be using. 
um, in many instances. You know, these, these shit lenses, these 100 millimeter to 600 millimeter, these lenses are crap. They're just crap. And uh, they shouldn't be made. Some of these radical zooms, like the new 24 to 120 f4 kit lens, that lens is crap. It's the kit lens for the D750. That lens sucks. Tamron. Tamron has been a, D, uh, a D-rated company now for, God, nearly, oh, at least 20 years. Uh, and they still make plenty of C-minus lenses. Uh, but right now, Tamron gets an A. So Tamron has gone for ages and ages to a D to an A. So now Tamron gets an A. Um, while they still make uh, plenty of crap, uh, the new lenses that Tamron is rolling out, 70 200 uh, VC, which has been around for a few years, uh, the new 15 to 30 2.8, epic. The new uh, lenses designed to destroy that Sigma art crap, just epic. The 45 and the 35 millimeter, epic. So Tamron has now gone from a D. I'm only judging them not on the stuff that they still make, that they designed ages ago, but the stuff that they're rolling out now, their new philosophy. So right now, Tamron is kicking everybody's ass. And uh, so Tamron deserves an A. They definitely do. Uh, Sigma still gets an F. They've been making the crap for 20 plus years. Quality control issues, sample variation issues, autofocus issues, quality standard issues, uh, water leak issues, uh, decentered element issues. Absolutely unquestionably the biggest crap lens on, that you can buy, period. I don't give a damn how much you like your Sigma lens. Those lenses suck. 15-year-old lenses and 10-year-old Sigma lenses are basically none of them are surviving that are still working because they suck. They're crap. They're made like crap. And uh, it's ridiculous to even think of spending that much money, especially for a damn art lens, which means nothing when you can get like a Zeiss lens for the same amount of money or less. It's ridiculous. Um, Zeiss is going in the wrong direction. Zeiss now gets a C- minus or a D+, plus, uh, when they've gone from an A. Right now they're making stuff just the same way Nikon is. And now, right now they're Sony's, uh, uh, Zeiss is Sony's slave girl. And uh, Zeiss can never have survived. Zeiss makes a lot of stuff. Zeiss's money is not in uh, their lenses. Zeiss's money is in uh, hospital, medical stuff, microscopes, telescopes. Yeah, Zeiss's main money <laughs> is in medical. Same with Nikon, same with these others, Olympus. Olympus seems like a small, crappy little company, but Olympus is ginormous. Olympus has got more cold, hard cash than any of them. Who? Olympus? Yeah. Why? Because of the medical stuff and all the scientific crap that they make that's not photography related. And Zeiss is this way, too. But Zeiss has dropped the ball big time in their optical lenses. Their new Milvis and their oldest lenses, they suck. They're exquisitely well made. You know, note you can't judge them for that. Uh, but their new lenses suck. They've gone from an A to uh, a D plus or C minus. So anyway, Zeiss is going. Whoosh. Nikon is going. Whoosh. Although not so bad as Zeiss. A Tamron is like this. Voigtlander has always been here, and they're still up here. They're hovering way above here. Uh, so kudos to Tamron. Tamron is moving in the right direction, and uh, they're poised to destroy Sigma, their main competition. Which, it's amazing they're any competition. The only reason Sigma's any competition is because they spend all their money on advertising. Sigma pimps more of their crap than anybody else, everybody else combined. If you take everybody's uh, pimping budget, their advertising and their BS and their puppets, you take all of them combined, it doesn't even match the crap that Sigma puts out. Because Sigmas don't sell themselves. See, uh, big lens companies, they don't need to advertise because the word of mouth on their quality is their best advertising. Sigma doesn't, Sigma is crap. People that know Sigma, that really know Sigma, I'm not talking about you, you know, some of these knuckleheads that own a Sigma lens or two and love it. Well, good for you, but you don't know a damn thing about lenses, okay? I love my Sigma, you're full of crap. Good, I don't care if you think that. I know more than you do about lenses. A lot more than you do. So, anyway, it's all perspective, spectrum of experience. Like I said, it's that old analogy, the difference between the wino and the uh, wine connoisseur. You know, wine is like, I like that wine. Why do you like it? Because it's got high alcohol content. Yeah, but it's like $6 swill from Walmart. Yeah, but I like it. It gets me drunk fast. Well, good for you. That doesn't mean you have any understanding of what a good wine is, right? 
Same is true of lenses. This is these people out there praising Sigma. They just don't know any damn better. They think they know, but they damn well don't know. Thanks for watching. Catch you later.